Hi you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Katie. As you guys saw by the title, we're doing a Sunday reset routine, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. I wanna do like a little like fall decoration makeover on my house. So before I go out and buy a bunch of like new fall decor and kind of start moving stuff around in my house, I wanna make sure that everything is nice and organized and cleaned. So I figured I would just take you guys along with me and show you guys exactly how I deep clean my house. I get so many questions on how I keep my house clean, having like a really light gray couch to having a lot of like white interior, White bedding so I'm gonna show you guys all my tips and tricks exactly what I do what I use how I keep everything super nice and clean I also have two dogs so if you guys are needing some good tips on how to keep your house nice and clean and smelling fresh and amazing if you guys have pets this is definitely a great video for you as well so I hope you guys will like this video I personally love watching these types of motivational like cleaning videos whenever I am NOT in the mood to clean but I know I need to clean so I typically just like put them on my TV or something like that while I'm cleaning so if you guys are needing some good cleaning motivation feel free to put me on in the back and we can clean together. It's a lot more fun when you're not doing it by yourself. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. First thing I'm just jumping into is cleaning all of my spaces, like all of the clutter off of any counters. One thing that I've really learned that actually helps so much with cleaning, because typically I'm like a spastic cleaner and we'll just try to like pick up random rooms all over and like I'll vacuum and then I'll pick up a counter. The best way to clean you guys is pick one room at a time, stay in that room until that room is perfectly clean and start from top to bottom. Typically I'll do that for every single room and then the only things that I'll leave is vacuuming and mopping. I'll do those both at the same time at like the very end whenever everything is perfectly clean, every surface is wiped down, everything like that. So. That's a little tip for you guys. If you need like a good organized way to clean, it has changed my life and it's really helped me stay focused and not get overwhelmed by the project because you just have to focus on one room at a time. To clean my sink, I'm gonna be using this Barkeeper's Friend. This stuff is amazing. It gets your sink like shining and so sparkly and looking so just like brand new. Definitely recommend trying this if you guys are looking for a good like multifunctional cleaner. You can use this on like pots and pans if they're kind of like rusty or if they're kind of like blackened from being used so much. This stuff is absolutely amazing and definitely always a staple in my cleaning supplies. And then for my all-purpose spray, I'm gonna be using this one by Everspring. I just got it at Target. This is the one that I've been using for quite a while now and I love it because it is all natural and non-toxic. All right, you guys, kitchen is completely clean. Everything is absolutely spotless. I even lit my little sweet water decor mold cider candle. It's one of my favorites for fall. And then my little dining room area is all clean too. I got these flowers, I think maybe last weekend. And I've been loving this combination. I think these are carnations, correct me if I'm wrong. And then I just add in a little bit of baby's breath because they're both super affordable and they last forever. So I really like this combo. Adding fresh flowers to my home always just makes everything feel so much more like put together and clean. Okay guys, now that the kitchen is clean, the next project that I wanna move on to is actually making some labels for these jars. I've really been wanting to make some nice labels for these for the longest time. I feel like it just makes it look so much more organized and put together whenever you have all of them labeled on shelves. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll show you guys how I do it. I actually recently got a new little machine that makes it super easy to make fun labels. So I cannot wait to show you guys. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. So for this project, I'm gonna be using my Cricut Explore 3 machine and I'm actually working with Cricut on this video. So thank you so much Cricut for sponsoring. The Cricut Explore 3 is so versatile and can fit into every facet of your life. It accurately cuts 100 materials, including everything from iron-on, vinyl, paper to specialty materials like glitter, paper, cork, and bonded fabric. 
With the Cricut Design Space on either your desktop or your mobile, you can literally design from anywhere within minutes. It's really cool because it has so many different fonts on the design space. You can do things like pictures or graphics, and it actually already has several pre-made like designs that you can kind of customize and choose from. So there's literally endless possibilities. And like I said, super user friendly. You do not have to be artistic to use this. You do not have to be super creative or crafty. This is literally anybody can use this. And that is my favorite part about it is that it's just so user friendly. So as you guys can see for this project, I'm keeping it pretty simple just because I want my labels to be nice and clean and simple. So I'm just going in design space and kind of making a basic design. Once I have my design done, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the materials. I personally really love working with their removable and permanent smart vinyls, their everyday iron-on, deluxe paper, and their cardstock. But they also have a ton of different materials for any project that you need. The Cricut Explore 3 is so perfect for so many different projects from making things like organizational labels like I'm doing in this video right now, to making stickers for water bottles or laptops, to personalizing phone cases or making custom iron-on designs for t-shirts, or you can even like make a design for your kid's backpack or for your bag. You can make custom designs for like mugs or cards. You can make home decor. There are literally endless possibilities to what you can do with the Cricut Explore 3. So it is so worth the investment. The Cricut Explore 3 is so easy to set up and it allows makers to get up and running with projects quickly. Honestly, I'm really not the best at arts and crafts and I was very pleasantly surprised at how easy it was to learn how to set up the machine, learn all of the tools, learn the different materials, learn how to use the Cricut design space. Like honestly, it was the most user-friendly experience. Okay guys, just finished putting all the labels on the jars. This is just how they turned out. They look so good and clean. I really love how like nice and organized everything's gonna look. I can't wait to do this on all the rest of my jars. I have like 20 more jars in there, so it's gonna take a hot minute, but I wanted to show you guys how I did these with my Cricut Explore 3. If you guys do wanna check out the Cricut Explore 3, I will have it linked down below so you guys can check that out. Hopefully this gave you guys some ideas on what you can do with it or maybe sparked your creativity with a project you might wanna do. Like I said, there's endless possibilities of stuff that you guys can do with the Cricut Explore 3, so definitely go check it out, and thank you again so much Cricut for sponsoring this video. Okay guys, next room I'm gonna tackle is my laundry room it's literally a whole mess in here my laundry room is literally the most messy room of my house at all times so i definitely have a lot that i need to do in here i need to put clothes away i need to wash there's like a bunch of laundry baskets in front of me as well i need to switch my stuff over since it is getting into more like the cold weather like today it was what like 45 degrees i think i'm gonna go ahead and switch out my summer bedding for my like fall and winter bedding so i need to go ahead and wash that wash my comforter my duvet covers and everything like that so i can go ahead and switch those over today I also get a lot of questions on how I keep my house clean with dogs. And the biggest thing I feel like I do aside from like vacuuming and stuff like that that you'll see later is I like to like wash my stuff frequently. So like any throw blankets, I like to wash those every single week. I like to wash my bedding every single week just so that way like nothing smelling like dog and everything just smells really nice and fresh. So that's really just how I keep my house smelling good and not getting like super dirty from dogs. Also another tip I have for you guys is if you guys have dogs that shed a lot, these little bound dryer sheets, I am obsessed and they literally get so much hair off of your load of laundry like that you put in the dryer. I'm really trying to like switch over to more all natural products, um, but I haven't found any like dryer sheets that even come close to doing what these do. And it's really important for me not to have dog hair all over my clothes because I always did before I used these. So these are definitely a game changer if you guys have dogs that shed a lot. Okay, and then for my laundry detergent, I actually recently switched over to using this one by 7th Generation. It is just their free and clear one. And I've noticed the biggest difference since I switched over to this as far as like my skin. Um, I have super sensitive skin, so my skin reacts to like basically everything. And even like the Tide free and clear still made my skin kind of like break out and have reactions. And this stuff is the absolute best. So if you guys have sensitive skin, go grab like a non-toxic one because um, it makes like the biggest difference.
next area that we're gonna start cleaning is my living room. I get asked so much like how I keep my couch looking good, how it looks clean. And it's because I do so much to it every single week. You have to like vacuum it, you have to fluff it, doing like spot cleaning. Like there's just so much that goes into keeping your couch looking good, especially if you guys have dogs, you know. But I swear my dogs are to blame for like 99.9% .9 of the mess that happens in my house because they just have toys everywhere. They push all the pillows off of the couch and then they just sit there looking cute while I clean up their mess. But I wouldn't have it any other way. So I'm gonna show you guys like how I kind of pick up my living room and how I kind of like bring my couch back to life after it looks like trash from my two beautiful dogs. This is a little before of what my living room is looking like. As you guys can tell, all of their toys and then Kai is just sitting here chilling out. What are you doing, Bobby? So yeah, but you guys can tell that like the couch is super smushed, like the pillows are pushed weird, the couch isn't even like pushed together. So I definitely need to give the couch some TLC. I need to like pick up my stuff and all like the dog's toys and pillows. And I'll give you guys like a little up close so you can see. Cause like I said, like so many people are like, oh my gosh, like your house is so clean. How do you not get dog hair? Y'all, I have a German Shepherd. I get dog hair absolutely everywhere. It's just with a very meticulous cleaning routine every week that I'm able to keep my couch looking good for like five out of the seven days. So I'll show you guys how I do that but I wanted to show you guys a little before Harper's over here absolutely knocked out and she's cuddling with so many toys hi baby good morning good morning you gonna let me pick up all of the toys you have under here can I have this I know you're snuggling with it but can I have it so I can clean up you have your little raccoon you have your skunk your bone your your little skeleton. Can I take all can I take all of your toys? Yeah, you're just gonna sleep anyways. Now that everything is picked up and I pretty much got like all the toys everything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and start vacuuming my couch. This is the part that literally makes all the difference in how I actually keep my couch super clean. So the first thing I like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and take all of the cushions off of the couch itself so I can vacuum underneath, specifically either like food or their treat crumbs or dog hair, whatever, maybe you will get stuck underneath there. And then I'm gonna go through and vacuum every single one of the couch cushions. The vacuum I have does have like a little attachment that makes it smaller, but honestly I find it just works better if I just use like the whole vacuum itself and just kind of lift it up onto the couch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. you have to fluff you know what I'm talking about but that's how you keep it looking nice and good and super fluffy You guys, look how much this is all just from my couch. That is all dog hair and dust. 
Is that not insane? In case you guys were wondering, I have the Shark Uplight vacuum. It's my absolute favorite vacuum. I used to have the Dyson one, but I hated it because it kept dying every five seconds and I needed a corded vacuum to be able to like go for a longer time, especially with me having to like do everything. Like this whole couch just took me probably about like 45 minutes to an hour. So I always found that the Dyson one died too fast. So I really like this one because it looks like just like the Dyson, but it's just corded. So I'll try to find this and link it down below for you guys. I think it was maybe only like $200, 150, 200. So, okay, it's like 45 minutes later, but my couch is now nice and fluffed and dog hair free. It looks so much better. You can really tell the difference. The last step that I will do for my couch before I put like the blankets on and stuff is I actually just like to kind of spritz it down with this Fabric Fresh spray from The Laundress. I really like this stuff. It's very nice nice and light and just makes everything smell like super nice and fresh without any like obnoxious scents. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spritz that all over my couch and it works absolute wonders to like keep it from smelling like dog. And then there's this one who loves to just mess up my freshly cleaned and fluffed couch. I don't know what it is about freshly cleaned things, but she gets so excited, whether it's like fresh bedding or like fresh blankets, whatever it is, she just loves to like do this, to fresh things and clean things. It's the funniest thing. Harper, you are an absolute crackhead. I don't know how else to describe you. Yeah, an absolute crackhead. Look at you. You're crazy. You're crazy, Harper. You're crazy, aren't you? Look at that face. You're wild. You're a wild one. So after everything is clean in here, I just kind of like to like dust off everything with like a little microfiber towel, keep it super simple and easy. I don't really use any like wet products on this table because it is a, I think it's marble. I don't know what it is, honestly. I got it from CB2. Um, but I like to just kind of like dust it off with a little microfiber towel. Oh my gosh, there was so much dust on that. But living room is all nice and picked up, so gonna move on to the next room. Also, I wanted to share these with you guys. If you are someone who struggles with a lot of allergies or if you have pets, Anything that you need like an air purifier for, I got these ones off of Amazon. I got a two pack for I think it was $230. So it wasn't crazy expensive compared to some of the air purifiers that I've seen. And I absolutely love this one. Right now it's just on a low setting and it's pretty much silent, which I really like. So I can have it running all night. And this helps so much with like pet dander, with bacteria, viruses. It helps with your allergies. And I've noticed the biggest difference in the air quality since I've gotten this. And I've only had it for like maybe a week or so. So I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out but this is a big tip if you guys struggle with any of that stuff and especially if you guys have pets okay next room i am doing is my bedroom i'm not gonna lie you guys my bedroom is always messy especially my dresser I just pile random stuff on here. I don't even know why I put stuff here, but it's kind of like that just catch all place for me. And so I'm finally getting around to organizing it. Um, most of this stuff on top of it is just clutter. I really need to just find a better place for all of this and put some like actual decorations. So I organized that a little bit and then I'm actually gonna go ahead and start organizing all of these drawers. This is another thing. I will just fold my stuff and shove it in any random drawers, even though I know I have an organizational system. I just always forget to follow it. So I'm finally going through all these drawers, pulling out what doesn't belong in each drawer and then putting it back in its correct space. Okay, dresser is all nice, clean, and organized. If you guys are wondering, by the way, why this is not mounted on the wall, it's because I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there. I don't know if I wanna put something else. I don't know if I wanna put maybe like a TV up there or a different kind of mirror, because this is the mirror that was in my guest bedroom. Um, so I just moved it in here just to kind of see if I liked having a mirror right there, because I used to have a mirror there, but I didn't like the mirror that I had. So anyways, that's why, in case anyone was wondering. But okay, moving into my bathroom, this is the next area that I need to tackle. It's not super messy or anything. I just have like a few things out, I definitely need to like wipe down my counters and get that all nice and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on that. Bathroom is all clean and sparkling. I just cleaned all of my surfaces with the spray that I have been using throughout this whole video and it works so well. I think my bedding is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of that out of the dryer and then we'll make my bed.
Right now I am just switching out my summer bedding for my fall and winter bedding. Typically in the summer I'll just sleep with like a really light blanket, but then when the fall and the winter comes, obviously I want a little bit more warm and cozy vibes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put back on my comforter and put that in my duvet. And all of my bedding from the most part is either from Brooklinen. I think my comforter is from Amazon, which I really need to get a new one because I've had this one for years and it's not super fluffy anymore. But for the most part, everything else is from Brooklinen. So I will link that all down below for you guys. Bed is all nice and made. It's super cozy in here with all of my fall blankets on here. If you guys wanna check out any of my bedding or my throw blanket or any of my pillows, I will have all of that linked down below so you guys can check that out. But it looks so much more cozy than my summer bedding, so I cannot wait to sleep in here tonight. I'm gonna to go ahead and just vacuum all over my entire house. This is really like the last step I do. This and then mopping this is the very last thing that I do because I wanna make sure that like all the dog hair and the dust and everything like that is all off of the surfaces before I vacuum. So I'm going to go ahead and start vacuuming. Okay, very last step to my deep cleaning routine is I'm going to mop. I actually recently got this Infuse mop from Target. It's really cool because you just fill it up with water and then there's like little... I think I actually have an extra one. And they have these little like non-toxic mop refill like capsule cleaners, which is really cool and it smells amazing. It's just like fresh lemon and it works really, really well. So I've really been loving this mop. It's kind of like a little Swiffer, but like a more aesthetic one. And I really like that it's like a non-toxic one and it works so, so well. All you have to do is just spray it and then you go ahead and mop. And honestly, it works so great. And I love that you can like change out the mop pads and everything. And I really like that it works so well and it's just like nice, tiny and light. You don't have to worry about like dipping it into a mop bucket to get more cleaner or anything like that. It's like super convenient. So I'm gonna mop all the floors in my house and then that's gonna be it for my cleaning routine. Okay, you guys, that was it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future. I hope that you guys found something useful or like maybe a new cleaning hack or a new favorite product. I hope that it was helpful in some way to you guys or maybe just gave you a little bit of motivation. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.